Yo. So I've kind of always known that this time would come. What time is it, are you asking? The time is one where things that I've done in the past have come to light. Like everyone now needs to see it, right? I've mentioned in a couple of other videos, I think three or four videos at this point, I've mentioned that I'm not the best. Like I'm not claiming to be the best. At no point have I tried to say that I'm better than anybody else. I just say things like, hey, I see something's wrong here. And now everyone else can see that something's wrong. Well, now somebody has so seen something that is wrong with me and they're talking about it. Everything you fought for, I'm done. They're not talking about it all that much. At this point in time, the video of me not doing things the best that I should be doing them has four views. I also told myself that, hey, I know that what I'm doing is like really weird. Nobody does this sort of thing. Why don't they do it? I don't know. Maybe the athletes in the position of the things that I'm talking about to the most point, they're too busy competing. They don't want to waste their time doing this. I am currently in the worst shape that I've been in in maybe four or five years. And a lot of it has to do with my elbow. I can't even use my upper body for the most part. So all I'm doing is bike and running, but doing this stuff on the computer along with working full time kind of takes a toll on your fitness. Still doing things, still trying to work out most I can, but that's probably a lot of the reason why a lot of the elite athletes haven't done it. It's probably a lot of the reason why a lot of the elite athletes now reach out to me and they say things like, oh, thank you for doing this. And then I would also have to bet that a lot of people on the fringe, that would be me, people who are on the fringe of being like rather good at this sort of thing, were always afraid that something that they've done in the past would come to light. And the thing that came to light for me is that 21.3, 21. 1.4 that open workout where it was a two-parter. There's the front squat thruster, toes to bar, front squat thruster, chest to bar, front squat thruster, bar muscle up into the heavy complex. Somebody screen grabbed a couple of my front squats from that workout. If you remember that workout was interval style, you had to hammer the front squats and then you had to do the toes to bar and then you had to do the thrusters and you did it with a minute break. So you would hammer it, minute break, hammer it, minute break, hammer it, and then you had to do that lifting complex at the end of the workout, which was 21.4. Back when I did that workout, I felt really good about about it. I remember I recorded it. I put it on the internet. I uploaded it to YouTube. This is back when I had like 100 subscribers. This was back in 2021. 100 subscribers. Most of them were part of my online program. So I remember I uploaded the video, linked to the Facebook page, and I was like, hey guys, if you want to see me do 21.3 and 21.4, here it is. And of the 100 views that I got on that video at that point in time, everyone's like, hey, good job. Nice work. And I was like, all right, there we go. Don't got to think twice about it. Now, does that hold up with what I say present day? Absolutely not. The things that I say present day, are make sure that you hold yourself accountable, know what you're doing. Don't put people in a bad situation. And it's almost like where when you've been subject to it yourself, you know more about it yourself. I believe it was in a video with Seth from Jump Ship CrossFit. We are talking about how you ride the line. You ride the line and you try to take everything you can get as an elite athlete. And if you're going to be given those things, you're going to take those things, right? Five dead, two of them cops. That doesn't mean I feel good about it. I actually feel pretty bad about it. And I also told myself that I would hold myself accountable. And the second that anything came up, I would try to talk about it because I want complete transparency with everything that I do. That's the goal in what I'm doing here. I don't want to try to hide. I don't want to try and snuff it out. I don't want to try to lie about it. My main goal right now is the YouTube channel. I love doing the YouTube channel. This is my thing. I get a lot of joy out of it. It's almost replaced competing for me. And you know what? If this thing goes completely downhill, I have absolutely no problem never competing again. I just know what it's like to be every single athlete in my shoes and then you watch some people doing some things, they get away with it. And now I guess that I am the person in this situation who has gotten away with something that I shouldn't have gotten away with. Are a couple of front squats enough to invalidate an entire workout? I guess that's not for me to be the judge of. I guess that's for CrossFit to be the judge of. I know that they didn't ask for that video. I put the video on YouTube. I was ready for them to ask for it. They never asked for it. That year I finished 49th in the open and if that workout were adjusted a little bit, maybe I would have moved down the leaderboard a little bit. I would have probably we've been right around 100. I don't know. Can't say. I still would have qualified for semifinals and then through semifinals, I uploaded all those videos, CrossFit, vetted and checked those ones. I got a minor penalty on my power snatch workout. That was the final workout. I remember I wasn't extending my hips to the top of the rep. They gave me the minor penalty. And I also think that I got a minor penalty on that dumbbell hang clean workout where my feet were staggered on a couple of the reps where I picked the dumbbells up, my feet were staggered. So they gave me a minor penalty on that one. But all of those were sent to CrossFit. Know for sure that they checked it because they send you the email back saying, hey, Hey, we check these out. You're good to go. That wasn't the case for the open workouts. Maybe this was my first insight to knowing that the open doesn't matter. I know that they didn't check them. I know that, hey, you send the workout in, you put it online, and you're good to go. That doesn't mean that I feel good about it. I feel, actually feel pretty bad about it. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain.
I didn't know when any of this would come up. I didn't know what it would look like. And with the YouTube channel, all I want is for people who are looking at the YouTube channel. But these reps were no good there. So I plugged in the video a couple of times now. I don't know what you want to say about it. I it does, I mean, it's weird. It's like up, down, and around. And I don't know why he didn't just grab the entire video. He grabbed this one clip of it, slows it down. It's sideways. It's not a high quality video. But I did want to talk about it before it possibly comes the other way. I wanted everyone to hear it from me first that, yeah, it looks like I'm not doing full repetitions. I no longer have the video. I can't show the entire thing. But from recollection of myself doing that workout, I remember that it's like, hey, you got to hammer out these front squats real quick. Arms are crossed over the top because you're trying to save the front rack. Maybe that just altered the position of the barbell and it made me not stand up and extend the knees and the hips all the way. Trust me, I kind of feel like a piece of shit about it. Yeah, it's really kind of eating me up. I don't like it. I don't want anyone to see this and go like, this son of a bitch, we all trusted him. I'm like, I want you to trust me. That's why I'm making the video. It doesn't feel very good. And like I said, if it means that I never get to compete again, I'll never compete again. That's like how important this stuff is to me. I'm whatever God needs me to be. If I'm part of the problem, then so be it. I understand. People will lose hope. They won't. As always, I mean, I would like to use it as a learning experience. I know that some people are going to see this and just say, fuck this guy. Perhaps I deserve it. Probably deserve it. I shouldn't say perhaps. I totally deserve it. Like, yeah, fuck me, right? CrossFit Games, if you're watching this, go ahead and take my name off the leaderboard. I know it's too little too late. I just want to try to do the right thing. That's all. I don't want to sit here knowing the stuff that I know, which I found out last night, and act like it's non-existent. And then I figured I would just let everybody else make their decisions. Andrew Hiller out.